Today, we are still on the topic of transfusion medicines or blood bank. However, it's not all boring and all theory today. I will walk you through how we actually perform ABO testing manually using the tube methods in the laboratory. ABO and RH blood groups is the most basic and most frequently ordered test in blood bank. I talk about ABO blood groups in depth in another video already. I will leave a link to them in the description box down below. Please check it out at the end of this video. Today, we will be focusing on testing methods and procedures for ABO typing. I also include timestamp in the description box down below, so you can refer to it at any time. Without further ado, let us all click the like button, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. Let's start from up top. When specimen is received in laboratory, usually it is the laboratory assistant who will receive and assession the specimen to make sure that the specimen meets specimen collection standard. Remember, the patient identification is the most important step. Wrong patient means wrong sample, which means wrong test results. ABO blood group incompatible transfusions can cost the patient life within minutes. If you want to refresh on specimen rejection criteria or specimen collection standard, you can find a link to it in the description box down below. Step 1. Follow laboratory protocols on receiving specimen. Usually include verify that the sample is properly labeled, name, and medical record number are legible. On the label, it should include the proponymous initial, date, and time of collection. However, some hospital implement computer systems that the collector identifier, date, and time of collections is in the system. So sometimes it won't be on the label. So double check with your policies and follow that. Each place is a little bit different, but you cannot go wrong when follow your laboratory policy. Step 2. Center fills the sample for about 10 minutes at 3400 RPM. Again, Follow your laboratory procedures. This step is to separate the serums and the red blood cells. The reasons we have to separate the serums and the red blood cells because the ABO typing has two parts, the forward and the reverse type. The forward using RBCs and the reverse using the serums. Forward typing. Forward typing is defined as using one sort of commercials antisera to detect antigens on an individual red blood cells. Reverse grouping is defined as detecting ABO antibodies in the patient's serums by using known red blood cells reagent, A1 cells and A2 cells. Step 3. Checking all the reagent that you are using the correct lot number and that they are not expired. The reagents are to be QC daily and with each new lot number and new shipment. Expired or defect reagents can give you false test results. For instance, expired reagents lose their strength and can give you false negative when the reactivity is actually positive. This leads to wrong blood type. Step 4. Label 6 tube with patient names and MRI number. Step 5. Take those 6 tubes that label in step 4 and label each tube with the reagent name. The first tube label anti-A, second tube label anti-B, third tube is anti-A, B. This is actually optional but if you wish to do so, then in step 4, you will label 7 tube. Tube 4, label D4. Tube 5, label D5. Tube 6, label A1 cell. Tube 7, label B cell. Side note, the tube that are labeled D4 and D5 are used for Irish blood group antigen testing. This is what gives persons positive or negative notations after the ABO blood type. 
ARCH testing is routinely done together with the ABO blood type as it is the second most important blood group in transfusions and transplants. Step 6. Place one drop of the agents into a clear, properly labeled tube from step 9 and 10. Step 7. Make a cell suspension of about 2 to 3 percent of patient red blood cells and put one drop of 2 to 3 percent patient red blood cell suspensions into tube labeled anti A, anti B, and anti A, B if you choose to do so. It's optional in a routine testing but play an important role in neonate testing D4 and D5. Add two drops of serums into tube labeled A1 cells and B cells. Step 9. Mix the contents of the test tube gently and centrifuge the test tube for about 15 to 30 seconds. Step 10. Gently resuspend the RBC button and exam for agglutination. Rating the presence of agglutination accordingly from 0 to 4 plus agglutination. A grading of zero means no agglutination present. Here's how to read the agglutinations. 4 plus. A 4 plus means a single agglutinance or large aggregate with clear background. 3 plus means a number of large agglutinants with slightly reddish background. 2 plus means medium sized aggregate with reddish background. 1 plus means many small aggregates, turbid reddish background. Sometimes we also use R to indicate tiny aggregate and the background is really greeny and has like a turbid reddish color. Step 11. Write down the reactions. Once you write down the reaction results that you got, then you can compare the test results to the table here and you get your blood type. Troubleshooting for ABO typing First, if you see weak reactions in reverse typing, you can try to incubate your test tube for about 15 minutes to enhance weak serum reactions. After 15 minutes, repeat step 9 and 10. Second, cord blood sample needs to be washed before performs ABO grouping test. The water jelly could interfere with agglutinations, insufficient wash, the water jelly contamination give false negative results. Water jelly is a gelatinous substance within the umbilical cord. Third, if the suspension is too thick, it will give you a false negative results. If this quick troubleshooting does not work out for you, you can check out how to troubleshoot ABO discrepancy. I have a video about that already. Facts that it's good to know about ABO groupings. Serum and plasma are not the same, but both can be used for blood groupings. Serum has no clotting factor because the blood was aligned to clot before separations from red blood cells and serum. Plasma has clotting factor. This means serum plus clotting factor is equal to plasma. The ABO typing can also be done on a microscope slide. The process is mostly the same, but instead of doing it in a tube, we will do it on a microscope slide. And instead of using a centrifuge, we're gently tilting the microscope slide in a circular motion for about 2 minutes. If we observe agglutinations within 2 minutes, it means a positive result. If there's no agglutination between a smooth suspension at the end of 2 minutes, it means a negative result. And remember, do not place the slide on a heated surface. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talk. Happy learning, my fellow blood bankers! As always remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye!